Qué tranza bola de desmadrosos, aquí andamos apoyando la malandría. Today on September 15th, la noche del pinche grito. That's why, you know, we don't feel like doing any heavy work. Todavía andamos un poco crudos and it's going to be real noisy outside because there was a parade in a car show earlier, so there's a lot of honking honking. Um, also, fun fact, it's Independence Day for, I think, Guatemala, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and a few other, uh, a few other countries. So we'll go hard for them too. Now, what we are going to be doing today is I'm going to show you guys how to split streaks. Streaks are grease pens, solid markers that get used to write on various surfaces. They're permanent when they dry. And one of the fun things that we do is we split them for people. These are our Zapatista color ones, black and red. And we got the Magneto, purple and, uh, purple and red. And you only need one very simple tool for this, and that's the razor blade from Harbor Freight, the retractable blades that you get for like 49 cents. And what you're gonna wanna use is you're, wanna sa you're gonna wanna save these little caps because those are gonna be the key to getting this done properly. So let me get that. The cool thing is if you fuck one up, you'll just, you have another one to fuck up too. You have two of them to fuck up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your blade you're gonna line it up on top. You're gonna try and do this as straight as humanly possible. Um, you're gonna try and drop it right down the middle. You're not gonna cut all the way through the plastic. You're just gonna cut, you're gonna cut right up to the little round lip that it has at the bottom and you're gonna stop right at that little round lip. So the point is not to cut the whole cap in half the point is to get right before, I could go a little more, but that's fine, that works. And the reason you're doing that is because you're gonna use this as a guide to get you started on your streaks. Let's do the purple one first, that way the black ink doesn't smudge all over the cap and we have it clean at the end. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run your blade right down the middle right there, right up until the previous stopping point, pop it back out, take the cap off, and now you have Align the trace with the blade and what I like to do is I like to jam it into the sides of the plastic like such and hold it there then what I do is with my two fingers to keep it from getting from popping back out I do that and then little by little I'm twisting it the wrong way dummy little by little I just extract out the grease pen do that. Once it starts getting up there, I hold it vertical up and down. That way, if it does fall out, it doesn't um, drop on the floor or something. So you extract it completely. There's a lot of dope shit about Mexican Independence Day. So Mexican Independence Day. Uh, Miguel Hidalgo is credited as like the father of the movement that got started, but the truth is that fool was like a secondary or tertiary character. He wasn't even a main character in the planning of the Independence Day uh, Army. What happened was the weekend that like all the conspirators were plotting and scheming, um, everybody got fucking caught except for him. So everyone got locked up and went to jail except for him. And then all the soldiers were looking at Miguel Hidalgo like, yo, what do we do now? All the original planners are locked up. And he's all, let me drink a hot chocolate real quick and think about this shit. And, uh, and that night is when they did the grito. He's like, fuck it. We're doing armed struggle against the Spanish crown. And we're going to, uh, we're going to go free the homies. So that's how the Independence Day movement happened was from, Fucking breaking all the homies out of jail. Police, abo uh, prison abolition type shit. All right, so now that we got the first one popped off, we pull it out, clean my blade. The cleaner you keep the blade, the better. And then you do the same thing with the black one. So the dope shit is that once he went to go free his homies from jail that night, they also freed everybody else that was in the jail because prior to this, when uh, Spain still ran Mexico, slavery was still legal. So the main, one of the main tenets of the new proposed government that the Independence Army was pushing for is we're going to eliminate slavery, we're eliminating debt, we're eliminating the caste system, 
and we're eliminating the power that the Catholic Church has over Mexico and its people. And that was pretty fucking dope. Obviously, there's a lot more details to that, but that is the gist of it. Also, the cool shit is that when he freed everybody, when he freed his homies and he freed everybody else from the prisons, um, they, they went to the, basically, like, the government accountant offices and they torched all the debt papers, too. So anybody that owed the crown any money or owed any land, all that shit got torched. So everybody got a fresh start, which was really fucking cool. Um, and the first battle that they had was hard as fuck. It was going up against a barracks in Guanajuato, where my dad's from. It was a giant barracks. It was like three, three stories, four story barracks that had nothing but little tiny two foot by one foot windows that the shooters would point out of. Um, and it was something like 15, 20,000 indigenous barefoot con machetes, palos y piedras versus these barracks that were soldiers with guns shooting at them from 60 feet of a distance. So even just to get to the building, you had to go through, just to get close enough to throw a rock, you had to get past 60 feet of gunfire pointing at you. And that's when one of the first heroes of the, of the independence movement happened. It was an indigenous miner named Pipila who proposed... Hey, what if I strap a giant rock to my back and walk backwards to the main door and light the, tor light the door on fire? And everyone's like, yeah, that sounds about right if you're down to do it. And he fucking did it. And, uh, and that's how everybody was able to just rush the door and take over the fucking barracks. And that scared the shit out of Mexico City. And then the second battle, they sent like 3,000 well-trained soldiers to go fight against this army of what had now ballooned to like 50,000 indigenous folks because they were picking up people in every town that they were walking through towards Mexico City telling them, hey, we're ending slavery. Hey, we're burning all the fucking land debt shit. We're trying to kick the church, not kick the church out, but take the power away from the fucking church. And, uh, and that, was, that was the beginnings of, uh, of the Mexican independence movement. All right, now that we have them both split, if you did a really good job, you have two perfectly aligned sides. I rarely do a perfect job, so sometimes you're going to get an uneven side, and this is where it's important to pay attention to which side is going to be the thicker side and the thinner side, and because you don't want to match, when you put these streaks back together, you don't want to put two of the thicker sides together because they're going to have a hard time fitting back in the tube, and it's okay if you have two of the thinner sides together because there's it's going to leave you space, but if you get two thicker sides, um, it's going to cause you problems in the fucking tube. So I believe that's definitely the thicker side. So then we're going to match it up with this thicker side over here. Grasosos. I've heard of people freezing these to do it, but I don't think that that's super necessary. And that's it. And then you just put them back together. Boom, bap. That looks so pretty. Drop it in the tube. Make sure you line the plastic. Plastic's got little ridges. You line them up. And this is a messy process. That's why I wear gloves. And then you just start retracting the tube back in. And sometimes it won't go in super easy. Oh, this one's sliding in super easy you know why this one's going in super easy because i fucked up mm -hmm. and i picked two of the thin sides but i'm gonna fix this off camera i'm not gonna fix it on camera what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pop this back in and i'm gonna make it seem like i did a perfect job Another funny thing is that when the, um, the revolutionary soldiers would win a battle, sometimes they, they did get, there's counts of them getting caught, um, accounts of them getting caught uh, pantsing the Spanish soldiers and checking their ass. And when they got asked, what the fuck are you guys doing? It was like, oh, we're looking to see if, they're a, if they have a tail because they're the fucking devil. So that's a funny story that gets told. And there we go. And now we have... A perfect for on-camera streak and all you have to do now is make sure you clean up your mess so rubbing alcohol does a really good job of cleaning everything up and you don't have to have the yeah 
this does a real good job of cleaning everything up. And that's it, you go from there. And that's that. Que siga la malandria, viva la independencia. And uh, pónganse las pilas, cabrones. Knock them out. You guys got it. Peace.